Yeah, I'm Dr. Chris Steele, and um, I'm here at the uh, Allergy and Gluten-Free Show in Olympia. Boy, what an event. It's packed with people, and um, I've been kept busy with people coming to see me about their celiac disease. Uh, the reason being is I've been the health ambassador for Celiac UK for about five or six years. And then 18 months ago, who gets celiac disease? Me! <laughs> so I'm actually the ambassador for Celiac UK. I'm a GP. I'm also a patient with celiac disease. Uh, and that was a bit of a surprise. And um, with celiac disease, you're reacting to gluten that's in your diet. Wheat, barley, rye, and it's hidden in many foods as well. So there's no treatment for celiac disease except going on to a gluten-free diet for life. And it should be a strict gluten-free diet. And I found that difficult at first, because I've been eating normally for 60 odd years. And to change my diet it was difficult at first. You have to read all the labels, make sure there's no gluten hidden away. But I'm into it now and it's okay. I mean, I've just got used to it now. Celiac disease is not a rare condition. One in a hundred people out there have celiac disease and 80% of them are undiagnosed. They're walking around with celiac disease and they don't know they've got it. And the problem is if it's undiagnosed, the patient is not absorbing either iron or vitamin B12, folic acid, various other nutrients and vitamins into the body. So they get deficiencies and very often symptoms like tiredness, weakness, shortness of breath, uh, then you can get bowel symptoms such as bloating, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort. Um, motions can be quite offensive smelling. I know I had this problem. I was reacting to the, the gluten. But once you take the gluten out of your diet, within three or four weeks, you're not so tired, you're feeling better, you've got a bit more strength, your bowel symptoms have gone. And you feel the benefit, therefore, quite quickly. Therefore, it's worthwhile sticking to the gluten-free diet. So, um, if you have any symptoms that are related to celiac disease, you can check them out on the Celiac UK website. Those symptoms might be due to you being uh, in a state of reacting to gluten in your diet. See your doctor, there's a simple blood test, it's very accurate. You may need a little biopsy taken of your intestines. I had it done, it's nothing, just a thin telescope and that clinches the diagnosis and then bang, you know exactly what's causing your symptoms and you're relieved that it's nothing more serious but you have to just change the way you eat from that day onwards.